Hello everyone, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. As I promised in my last video that in my upcoming video, I'm going to discuss about monitor usage metrics in the new workspace experience. So here we are. In today's video, we are going to discuss about monitor usage metrics in new workspace, which is currently in preview. Well, we are not going to discuss over here about the classic workspace because that is going to go away sooner or later. So it's better to get familiar with the new workspace experience. This one is currently in preview, but very soon it's going to be generally available. So let's get started over here. Knowing how your content is being used helps you demonstrate your impact and prioritize your efforts. Your usage matrix may show that one of your reports is used daily by a huge segment of the organization. It may show that nobody is viewing a dashboard you created at all. This type of feedback is invaluable in guiding your work efforts. So we need it to get to know how many reports are there, who are using them, or what sorts of contents are available over there. If you create reports in modern workspaces, you have access to improved usage metrics reports. They enable you to discover who's using those reports throughout your organization and how they are using them. You can also identify high-level performance issues the improved usage reports in the modern workspace experience replace the existing usage metrics reports. So now we are going to discuss about this further. What are the prerequisites, how to use them, or what are the different pages are available in the monitor usage metrics in the new workspace experience. So let's get started. So Whenever you are trying to use this new workspace experience of usage metrics, there are certain prerequisites. And the very first is that you should have a Power BI Pro or premium per user license to run and access the usage metrics data. However, the usage metrics features captures usage information from all users regardless of the license they have assigned. The second one is that to access improved usage metrics for a report, the report must reside in a modern workspace and you must have edit access to that report. Lastly, your Power BI admin must have enabled usage metrics for content creators. Your Power BI admin may have also enabled collecting per user data in usage metrics. If you want to read more about this, I'll provide a link in the description section there you can go and check for the documentation by Microsoft. Now, question comes how to create and view an improved usage matrix in the new workspace experience. Well, we are going to explore this in the Power BI service where I have my Power BI Pro license and I can show you how you can access the same. So let's over to my Power BI service account. So guys, as you can see, we are currently on my Power BI service account. And from here, we will go to the usage metrics and we'll see how to explore them. For that, first of all, you have to go to your workspace where you want to explore those usage metrics and you have to select a workspace. So I'll just click on this one and there you will find your different contents, whether it's your dashboard or your report. Now let's say I want to explore more about this RLS versus OLS so I can Click on these three dots over here and there is an option view usage matrix report. You have to click over here. Once you will click, maybe in the initial part it would take some time if you haven't logged in over here for uh, some time. But if you have, then it would appear very soon. And over here at the right hand side top corner, you will find new usage report on. So you can switch it off or on, but I'll suggest you keep it switched on so that you can experience all the new experience over here. And also note it over here, which I'm going to explain you later in this video that you have left hand side this panel named as pages. Here you will get the different pages like report usage, report performance, report list and some frequently asked questions. So you can get familiarized yourself with all those frequently asked questions and 
maybe once you are getting into some problem you can find them helpful so guys over here you should remember that on the top you can see this slider which i'll highlight over here new usage report on if this is the first time you do this power bi might open the old usage metrics report generally you will see it's off and once it's off the layout has been changed completely over here so might be you haven't switched it on and that's why you are coming over here and you find it disabled and you are having a look at the classical workspace experience however you can switch it on over here to display the improved usage metrics and now you can see the report performance and everything is over there now let's move forward Now we are going to talk about the improved usage metrics report. When you display this improved usage metrics report, Power BI generates a pre-built report. It contains usage metrics for that content of the last 30 days. The report looks similar to the Power BI reports you are already familiar with. You can slice based on how your end users received access, whether they accessed via the web or mobile app, and so on. It updates every day with the new data. So let me show you how it looks like. I'm generating my new report over here. So now you can see your report has been generated over here. So what you can do, you can just save a copy. You can give it a name of this report. So I'm gonna say usage metrics, RLS versus OLS. This is very important guys, because many of the time we want to see how many users are logged into our report, how many are viewing, how many are sharing that. Those kinds of experience are very important. Now you can just click on the go to report. And once you will click go to report, this report is actually now into your demo workspace. So I can click on this demo workspace over here and you can see there is a report. This is a new report and whenever the new data is coming like more users are logged in into your this report they are viewing it they are sharing it its data is going to get updated automatically now you can click on it and you will see the same experience that you are getting out there before moving to the next slide you should remember that usage matrix reports don't show up in recent workspaces favorite or other content list they can't be added to an app if you pin a tile from a usage matrix to a dashboard, you can't add that dashboard to an app. So that would be always excluded from the app. Now we are going to discuss about usage matrix report dataset. When you first launch the improved usage matrix report, Power BI automatically creates a usage matrix report dataset. The improved usage matrix report relies on the dataset. Power BI then refreshes this data set daily. Remember that it's gonna get updated daily. While you can change the refresh schedule, you can update the credential that Power BI uses to refresh the usage matrix data. You may need to resume schedule refresh if the credentials expired or if you remove the user who first launched the usage matrix report from the workspace where the data set resides. Now we are going to discuss about the usage matrix report pages. So basically there are four main pages in this report. As you can see on the screenshot on my report and I explained to you while I showed you this usage matrix report on my Power BI service. First is the report usage which provides information about report views and report viewers such as how many users view the report by date. The second one comes the report performance. It shows the typical report opening times broken by consumption methods and browser types. And third one is the report list. And the last one is the frequently asked questions, which provides answers to frequently asked questions such as what is a viewer and what is a view. You can see on the very first we see this report usage and here I can see reports opens. There are two items, reports page views, one unique viewers one and then there is a distribution among the platform not specified powerbay.com then there is a distribution workspaces then you can see the users who logged in over here and the pages and all plus you will find this report performance over here under this tab on this page usage metrics you will see the report name and then you will see the typical opening time opening time trend and then you will see this graph date 
versus maximum opening time in seconds and all those and you can even filter it out based on your selection for how many days it has been loaded and all and at the bottom of the screens you will find this report id as well if i talk about the report list it's gonna give you other reports names over here and the viewers how many viewers logged in the percentage the days view trends is going up down or something like that so this is gonna be a very important area where you can have a look about all the trends regarding your reports and their usage and how the people are consuming this content now let's move forward and see which metrics are reported so basically there are two kinds of uh, uh, pages available one is your report page and second one would be your performance one which is going to show you the report performance but under this there are several metrics as i just showed you on my power Bay service account like report views or report opens these are the kinds of metrics you are going to find in the report uses page but if we talk about the uh, report performance page there are some other metrics like i just showed you again this uh, this type of metrics are typical opening time opening time trend date slicer daily performance seven day performance consumption method and browser i'll provide you a link in the description section for all this content where you can go or you can just pause this video and have a look now we are going to talk about update usage matrix report credentials so we are over here on my power bi account so what i have to do first i have to go to the settings part and i have to go to the settings under the settings you will see this data set tab i'll come over here so under the data sets you will find your data set and you should be the owner of that data set otherwise you cannot change the credentials so over here i created this usage matrix report and i am the data set owner of this one and here you have to come this under data source credentials and then you can click on this data set credentials and you can sign in with your account and then you would be able to use it and this report is going to get updated automatically on the daily basis that's all you need to do now we are going to discuss about disable usage matrix report so in my last video i already guys let you know how you can use the usage metrics after going to the power bi admin portal there is the usage metrics portion there you can go and you can disable the usage matrices over there but you should be the power bi admin to do that if you don't know then please check the link in the description section watch that video again and you would get to know how to do that the next part is exclude user information from usage metrics report this is again the same part of that previous video and you can see on this screenshot as well you can put the users email addresses in the accept specific security groups so that you can exclude them from this matrix otherwise if you don't know about this you can again go back to my previous video and you can watch that and then you will get to know now we can also customize the usage metrics reports so how to do that that's the important question so the very first you have to make a copy of the report in the power bi service and if you don't know how to make a copy of the report let me show you so as soon as i'm going to open any of the usage metrics reports if i want to customize my report first you have to see your view usage metrics and once you are there then you have to click and save a copy so that's how you're going to make a copy of this report so we already done this so let me go back again and i can see this one so now my report is over here i can come to the edit part i can edit it i can remove it or i can change the visualization for example this one i don't like it i can change it into some another chart or something like that so you can customize your usage matrix reports as well so this is a great feature that you can do over here not only this if you want to create some another report after this one you can directly connect to that uh, power bi data set as well using your power bi desktop application and in fact you can analyze the same in excel as well so guys these were the three main steps that you should remember how to customize the usage matrix report and if you find any problem or you are not able to do that please do mention your comments in the comment section 
The last part of this video is consideration and limitations. So of course, everything has some limitations as well. I'll provide you a link in the description section for all this content where you can go or you can just pause this video and have a look. If you guys have any question and concern, you know what to do. In my upcoming video, I'm going to discuss about users, premium per user and audit logs in Power BI admin portal. Stay tuned for more exciting videos and if you haven't subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for the latest videos.